Yes, what's up, what's up, what's up, my beautiful people, my viewers, my subscriber, first timer. Welcome to this channel, Life with Jennifer JM. Yes, I'm your girl, Auntie Chen. Yes, in this video today, my viewers and my subscriber, as within the comment, a lot of persons has been asking me, what is my take on what Miss Karen Cross came out with. Let me let me explain something to you about Karen Cross as much as I can. So for those of you who don't know, I follow medias. I follow I realize that I can't just lock myself in if I need information. I must explore for information. I don't only love to think about positivity. I also learn that negativity because out of negative you can get positive. And then let's say for instance me and you have a disagreement we may speak evil against each other but you have to understand why would i come at you it's because i am against you now miss karen cross was one of the pmp advocate i've known i've known her in person per se but i have known her on the political forefront for years she always been there on the PMP trail, the campaign. Even when I was watching when between Peter Phillips and Peter Bonding, she was on the Rise United side, if any of you remember that. She was right up there. Right up there. But for some reason after, and it wasn't before, it was after the challenge between Lisa Anna and Mark Golding. Up to that point, you know what was Karen Cross' problem? If you notice her attitude, she wanted to dictate and she wanted to act like she had the president and she know everything and all of that. And I believe because she didn't get any role to play, she turned against the Rise United people now and said so she had support Lisa Anna. And then when she came across with a, with, with a scenario saying that, she came out and saying that she have evidence of Dayton and Campbell abusing underage. That didn't go down well until she there was a lawsuit and all of those things. So she became so the party call a meeting. I, I'm trying to let some of you understand what is happening. You know? When you want the information, I write here for you. And they call her up into meeting and all of that. She's still with her rebellious way. So then dismiss her from the party. And from then she formed an alliance called the Resistance. She and one named Princess Al. One named... We know some of them, you know. One was she a maroon queen. She, she live in the States. One next one we named... All of who name I call it a right there. Um, uh, I forget some of them name now. But anyway, they right there. Them said them farm alliance and they, they, them right there. Them. So, let us get back now. Before all of this transpire, you know, we should take them down off our Facebook page now. Because I... I go back over on our page to see if they were all there. Because I think Angela Brownberg is now filing a lawsuit against her. If it is not as re already filed. I'm not sure yet. But I know the lawyer wrote her. Because she came out and talked. Where she tell the lawyer. What she, she carry on. She go and like say. She can domineer a space. So. If any of you were following. And even when they delete it, you know, if you, it, 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 she first come out with the FBI thing, you know, my, my, my viewer. She was the one who came out and talked about the FBI and how the child wasn't for, 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 for Philip Paulwell. The child is for Peter Bunting. As she, Karen Cross, come out with all them something here, you know. As she, you know. As she put it on social media, on Facebook. As she put it on Facebook, the evidence is there. As she put all these things on Facebook, you know, my viewers and my subscribers. And in one of the things that she put on it, and when she was classing Tashaya Pattison on it, you know, and calling her the big W word, Karen Cross. 
And it's a direction for anybody for look. For anybody who can the news. It has come from one of these set of people who call themselves resistance. It's coming from one of you. And I open a conscience will be on a guy. I am going to take you into the clip of Karen Cross. And I'm going to break it down timely for you. I want you to listen to this section of Karen Cross. That the, the U.S. intelligence is deeply involved in what is happening down here. Not only because Paul will first be a mother, baby no, mother number one, as we like to refer to her, is also a federal agent. Um, and I can tell you, she works for the DEA, but is a drug enforcement agency. That's the agency she works for, Paul Wells, be a mother number one. And being a federal agent, I said in my first voice note about this matter, is that she cannot lie about anything regarding the disappearance of this, um, that said that is Paul Wells, baby that she have, and Paul will have to now claim the baby and own the baby. Now, I am not ruling out the fact that she might still be a person of interest and she might very well still be on the radar of the police. Because in a matter like this, when a person is missing for eight days, the obvious suspects are the husband, boyfriend, man, boyfriend, or the husband, woman, ex-woman, wife, whatever it is. But these people are the usual suspects. And suffice to say, more than one occasion, 99% of the time, it is always one of them, always. But I am confident in myself, confident, that Philip Paulwell couldn't arm him baby and the whore who claimed that this baby is his. He couldn't. Philip Paulwell can't even kill a chicken for him Christmas dinner. That's how, that's how much of a kind of a naive and coward Philip Paulwell is. But Philip Paulwell, I don't even know if he can fly. You know, but he couldn't kill a chicken to save him life on Christmas Day. In the first instance when we were told that Paul Wells' phone was cloned, Angela Brownberg is a person that cloned Paul Wells' phone. Paul Wells' investigation produced that result, and Paul Wells, in return, um, reported the matter to the FBI, to the police and to the FBI. Why? because this is international crime. This is not a crime that only the, the, the Jamaican police can handle. Because Paul Will is a public figure. And being a public figure, a former minister of government who still has access to some places, if his phone is cloned, the FBI would be interested, whether anybody call them yes or no. They would be interested because that's what the FBI does. Be interested in things. The FBI interviewed Paul, Paul Well, and anybody who knows the, how the FBI operate, anybody who knows how the FBI operate, when the FBI is sitting down to ask questions, these are questions that they already have the answers to. The asking you of the questions is to see if you're going to lie or to see if you could add anything to whatever they know or take away anything to whatever they know. That is the reason why they ask the questions. FBI don't ask questions that they don't already know the answers to. Trust me on that. So Paul well reported the matter of the clone of his phone. The FBI got involved and then the FBI sat down with Powell to interview about the phone. And in interviewing about the phone, and talking about the demand for the 50,000 US, the FBI informed Paul Well that the account number that was submitted to him for his $50,000 demand for his phone was an account that is that belongs to Paul, Carl, Paul Burke and Angela Brown Burke. The FBI informed Paul Well of that, that this bank account that they say you must put this 50,000 US in, it's Paul Burke and Angela Brownberg's bank account. The FBI tell Paul Will that Paul Will know that Paul Will have that information. Mark Golden knows and he has this information. Mark Golden knows and he has the information. Lots of, a, a couple other people know. A couple other people know. I would go as far as saying that even PG himself probably know as a former prime minister. I would imagine that the Minister of National Security in Jamaica also knows, or he has been given a brief.
I would imagine that. I'm not saying right off the bat that he knows, but I would imagine that FBI would give him a brief as well, or his, his staff would get a brief, you know, on, on, on that matter. The pictures that was being sent to Paul, well, eight-year-old daughter, came from that phone. So it goes without saying that Angela Brownberg is the one sending those pictures. The pictures, now, mine, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not joining the two things, the disappearance of being mother number two and what Angela doing, but it was the beginning of everything. I don't get to the meat of the matter where I can join the two the two things and make and make it into one. But I get in there. I promise you, the information is slow and, and sometimes these people work slow in terms of sharing. You know? But Paul well phone with that picture and all of that that was sent to the baby. The baby mother number one. And the baby saw them. That was Angela Brownberg's doing. All of that was her doing. The police reported yesterday that they took off a person of interest off of the plane. Now at first there was a rumor that the person that they took off the plane was being mother number one who is a federal agent who was leaving the country. Now I said to those who was saying that stop that. No, no, God said that can't be true. Now why did I say it can't be true? It can't be true because she has been here. She has been here, she has been here since, since the whole saga. The police must have questioned her more than once and, and, have her, and, and maybe informed her not to leave the country or something. So it, it is just not a logical thing to say that she attempted to leave the country and then roll her off at the airport. That is not a logical argument because she has been here. And if she has been here, then we must assume that the police questioned her and we must assume that they say to her, do not move. We not finish with you yet. She's a federal agent. So there's hardly much the police in Jamaica can do unless them have some hard and fast facts about she being involved at any high rate about the disappearance of this woman and the baby. Right? But international um, um, exchange of information and intelligence and, and, and all of that is kind of funny and fuzzy in, in some respects. Right? But I, I concluded that it wasn't she. Lo and behold, we understand today that the person of interest is a relative of Angela Brownberg. And that person might very well have been involved in the cloning of the phone and the information gathering and sending out of information on Paul Well phone. Now, Jamaican village lawyers them across the country would have been sitting down and trying to figure out the thing a long time ago. We know that you have been doing so you listen to that what she says i let's analyze now some of what is in that clip what she says she begin to talk about fbi and all of this for sure you say this have to be some conversation that she knows something she knows something she was the first one came up about the fbi because she's talking and she never take it down that she have our link and she know all of these things, you know, my, my, my viewers and my subscribers. Now, let's examine what she said also in it also. She said, Angela Brown Burke is the person who, who send the pictures. Now, we realize and some people are saying it was coming from the baby mother number two phone. So now we can analyze and realize it. So right there, so I lie. So they were either telling lie and the baby mother or telling lie and Angela Brownberg. And at the end of the day, not what is said between those two ladies, to what is there now as evidence does not link any of these people to send nothing to no phone. That's what Karen Cross came out and says. The next thing that she said is that Paul well, can't even kill a fool. And the next thing that she said in it, I want to observe that she clearly stayed. But the DNA, so for sure, it says she into the, I mean, now, when she came out and attacked all these things, you know, not, never come to the public knowledge yet, you know. She have it on Facebook long time, you know, brother, people. This is from the ninth. She have this up on Facebook from, I think it was the 11th. Let me check. She have it up on Facebook long before 
we the, the public are everything and I put up on Facebook, you know. You know when people guilty conscience start taking them and they want to frame people for hide and disguise themselves. I want to teach you something here. That's how some people are. It's so quick she come out and call up other people here because she want they want the, the, the attention to be diverted from them and to place that that on somebody else. You, you be, oh my god. That's how some people are or conniving or or or, or, or devious they are. Why you take them? Why she take them down now off of the Facebook? Why? She take down everything now off of Facebook. The other day she put up something a quick time she take it down. It's right out on a circle there. That resistance circle. I want one of you one in the res zone of resistance to watch this. You see Uno? Uno is just like Leona Bradshaw. Uno. And the baby cry and our last cries and our last tears and Tashaya Patterson last cry and our last tears when they going to get away from man and they won't get away unless on a repent on a shall likewise perish and they see that on a soul and I shall surely reap it. I'm sending the message through this medium. The seed want to sow. The plot want to plot. Against. Partisan. I make Leo that left United States of America. And I have a Leo that's child crying right now. The cry and the tears of Leo that is on her shoulder. I want to cause it. The man them, even if they man bad man or whatever kind of man them want to bear them and shut all of that. As she cast them for the behind bars right now. And a uno cause He that keep it his mouth, you do know what? My granny always says, see I'm blind or what? The Bible says, man, 16 God hate man. A foot that run to mischief and a tongue that speak wickedness for the mere fact you come out and class that young lady that type of way it mean that you have a bitterness against this girl some of you are going to take you into the rest of it so you can listen to this audacity to a tailor PMP MP of 26 years say mustn't come to PMP conference. Why if you not PMP people, why if you not listen to me? Mark Holy, the president of People's National Party, told Philip Powell, former minister of government, former vice president of the PMP, former regional chairman for Region 3, former chairman of the party. A man that has done so much for the PMP. Mark Golden, this little piece of PMP, MP, that he mustn't come to PMP conference. So here she is saying that Mark Golden telling Philip Palwell not to come to PMP conferences. We can have a discussion on this, man, fears and subscribe. But if I was in the position of Mr. Mark Golden, too. With all that is happening with Mr. Philip Powell at this time. And you know some of what I said in the previous video. I would tell him the same thing. Where may I carry you go with me? At this time, that man is nowhere near for going to present nothing. And that's a good short ship you are showing Mr. Mr. Mark Golden. Call speed, speed. In no, no form and no shape for up and no political meeting at this time. The man need, as I said in previous, him need to, right at this time, he should actually take, if I even a leaf of absent from, in no matter how long you did as be politician or how much good you do almost, right now at this time where we are dealing with, it not look good. And for some of what Karen Cross attack is like you and Karen Cross did in some real dialogue because this is what the police told 
Philip Paulwell. It must be coming. If, if FBI and police tell us something, she can come and put it out to the public. I must you tell him, tell her. That's why she talked. That's what she said. So I'm sure I'm just tell you, my viewers and my subscribers, this woman knows something about it. But why you have to watch it, Karen Cross? You know something all about what is happening. You know, on a resistance, no. And that's my take. And I'm going to watch out because I know I'm not coming back. But listen to me, this is my view on it. My view on it that Tashaya Patterson, writing on a resistant group that we all want to put up, uh, uh, up on Facebook, in my opinion, it is my opinion. And I'm of the view that is right there it is coming from. And I'm waiting for it to be known to the whole world. I wish one of to out of the resistance, bro. Thanks again for coming back to this channel again, my viewers. Thanks for the support. And the conversation continue. But I want you to listen. And I'm looking for your comment. And we continue the conversation. Catch you again in another video. Bye.